this rally, this celebration of libraries is timely. Thousands of librarians from across the country have made their way to Seattle to participate in the ALA Midwinter Meeting and Exhibits. One of our national topics of discussion is library advocacy and what we can do to safeguard the invaluable resources libraries of all types provide to the communities that they serve. So thank you Seattle residents, ALA members, and conference attendees for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for helping to make our fourth stop on the Libraries Equal Strong Communities National Tour so special. I would like to extend my gratitude to new friends and this fantastic community for making me feel so welcomed. Thank you for your hospitality. I am thrilled that Seattle, Seattle Mayor and Council have declared today Take Action for Libraries Day. Woo. And we have the prophet that's very special. It really speaks to the support that libraries should have everywhere. And so we can, I feel like we should go in a chanting, take action for libraries day. <laughs> but the Seattle Public Library has provided vital resources and opportunities since its opening its door in 1891 as a reading room in Pioneer Square. And from that tiny seed, it has blossomed into 27 locations. These locations are as diverse as the community they serve. And that is great, that's what we want, right? While touring your local libraries, I noticed that your librarians and library staff work diligently to provide a welcoming environment for all members of the community. The doors are open to all patrons, regardless of race, ethnicity, religion, culture, sexual orientation, beliefs, income, or disability. Students, job seekers, entrepreneurs, people with health conditions, seniors, and those with different linguistic backgrounds and abilities turn to Seattle Public Library. Yes. Yeah.